Hi folks, it's Tim from Suburban Tool. Uh, we're America's tool makers. We're here today to walk you through how to get the constants and how to set up your compound sign plate. We have that information on our website. Uh, we've had some questions about how you find it on our website, so we just thought we'd walk you through that real quick. It's pretty simple. Once you're on our, our web page, which is subtool.com, you go over here, there's a tab that says Help, Repair Parts and Videos. If you click on that and go down to How to Use a Sign Plate, it brings up another little pop-up window up here. You have your choice, Simple Sign Plate or Compound Sign Plate. Let's look at Compound. First of all, it gives you a nice little graphic here of what everything means. You know, as far as angle A, angle B, you know, which gauge stack one, gauge stack two. So all that is explained. And then we have a nice little calculator here. Uh, let's say you're using a one of a Suburban SPC66S1, which has got two five inch center distances. You'd put your top center distance in here, five inches. And then you tell it, do we want our angle in degrees, minutes, seconds, or decimal degrees? You make a choice here. It's just a simple click. Come down here, the workpiece angle to set. Well, let's say that our top angle is 22 degrees. Then we're going to input our bottom center plate distance, which again on the SPC 66 is 5 inches. And let's say that you know that your center distance isn't exactly five inches. Maybe you've measured it and found that it's, you know, a little bit more or a little bit less. You can put in your exact distance if you need to be that accurate in your angle setting. Then again, choose decimal degrees or degrees, minutes, seconds, and you set your second angle. So let's say that was going to be 30 degrees. Down here, calculate your gauge block stacks. Oh, and we made a mistake already. Angle to set A is not in the correct format. Oh, 22 degrees, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. 30 degrees, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. Then it comes right up and it tells us our gauge block stack for the top sign is right there, 1.873033. And our bottom gauge stack is right there. And the true angle of our compound angle, I'm using the wrong hand to point again, sorry. The true angle of our compound angle up here at the top is actually 28.160582. So that's a nice, easy tool. It's easy to get at. Again, it's help. Repair parts videos, one click. Choose whether it's simple or a compound you can fill it in right online. We also have on here, if you need to download the full set of sign tables, under downloads, we have the sign tables available. You can download it in PDF format. We include one of these handy little sign table reference books with every sign plate that we send out. If you've lost yours or if you'd like an additional copy, drop us a line, you can drop us an email, go on our website and just request one. We'll be more than happy to send it to you. The sign tables are also in the back of our master catalog. Again, if you'd like a copy of the catalog, let us know. We'll be more than happy to send it out to you. And just recently with the advent of smartphones, we now have a sign plate app that you can download off the Google Play Store. And it's free, folks, if you want it. Just download it and use it. It's uh, again, it's the same thing. It's you can set for simple angle or compound angle, and it's all fill in the blank. Whether you want decimal degrees, degrees, minutes, seconds, it's up to you and your particular requirements. And it's all right there. It'll do the calculation for you. You know, it's just one of the many things that we do to make your life easier here at Suburban Tool. Again, I'm Tim Allen, the Suburban Tool. If you have any questions, feel free to 
call us, email us, go on our website, subtool.com. We're always here, and we're always happy to help, folks. Bye.